Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this new video. In my latest video, I made my first knife out of an old file. If you haven't seen that, please go check that out, link will be in the description. Um, now, I need a place to store this thing, so I decided I would make a little box for it. Now, before this video starts, I just want to note, I really didn't think this one through. Anyway, let's start. I started off with a wooden chocolate box, which my friend gave me. Of course, with chocolates in it back then, but anyway, thanks Derek. To fill up the box, I used some thick foam which would provide enough gear to hold the knife in place. To fill up the remaining space, I cut some thinner pieces to shape. I wanted to get rid of the brand of the box, so I marked the area that had to be removed and covered. My plan was to create a little sanding jig and hand sand this area down. Now, the way I set this up didn't really work. Sanding like this would really take ages. So my next idea was to try and chip the first layer of wood away, as it was built up in layers. Well, that didn't work. I couldn't really do anything else than just removing the whole piece of wood now. So, instead of a thin layer of wood, I had to use a thin layer of cardboard, which I cut to the correct shape. To make the box look clean without showing the original brand, I covered it up with some black crafting foam. I messed this piece up a couple of times off camera, but the result stays the same. To reinforce the cardboard, I glued a piece of thick paper at the back side of it. Now, the real beauty of this box was the engravement I used my multifunctioning 3D printer for. I almost broke my printer while doing this because I'm an absolute idiot. To make the inside look appealing, I wanted to cover the thick foam with white crafting foam. To figure out the measurements, I first traced the knife on paper. I 
I pin the piece of paper on the thick foam and cut the shape out. First I cut a piece of foam as the bottom of the knife slot. After that I cut the crafting foam to the correct dimensions to fit the box. I had to cut the knife slot in this piece of crafting foam as well. For some reason, I totally forgot to pay attention to the placement of the slot. So, I cut out a new piece and lined it up in the box before I cut it. Now the slot is in the correct place. The edges are a bit rough though. And I planned on putting crafting foam on the side of the slot as well, but I figured I would only make it look worse, so I kept it like this. So now that all the layers are done, it was just a matter of gluing them in place. And finally, this little frustrating project was done. And that's it. I started this project a year ago and I finally finished so I can now finally move on to some other projects. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any feedback, please let me know down below in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.